to Timor Leste for 12 days in July and it was very very nice it was one of the most relaxing trips that we've ever done um, so we'll tell you a bit more about this beautiful country so we took some flights from uh, Darwin Australia where we live to uh, Dili in Timor it's only a one hour and 15 minutes flight it's a really short flight first thing we noticed uh, the plane was absolutely empty The weather in Timor is very similar to the one we have in Darwin. It's very tropical, very humid. It fait super chaud et humide, et uh, 30 minutes de moins qu'à Darwin. There's literally no one. Like you walk in the streets, like in the back streets, like you're on your own. Even on the main streets, there's like not so many cars as you would expect in a capital city and it's just yeah it feels very safe actually ah c'est super long il fait super chaud et humide <laughs> voilà ça commence bien on est obligé de marcher jusqu'à l'auberge je suis tombé tête la première gueule dans le trottoir donc bon voilà 3 km à pied avec les bagages So the funny thing is when you get there, their currency is US dollars. We gave 10 US dollars to the um, taxi driver and then he started to give us back pesos. And we were like, oh, that's, that's a bit weird. So we went into the, the backpack and then we asked the lady and she said, yeah, well, actually US dollars is used for notes. And then anything that's coins, it's like pesos. Le riz est bon, ça je sais pas ce que c'est, c'est pas mal, et ça je sais pas ce que c'est, c'est pas très bon. Je pense c'est du tofu moi. Du poulet je pense c'est bon. Dans un instant c'est... People don't really speak English much, there's not many people who speak English. Uh, some speak a bit of Portuguese, uh, not even that many people who speak Portuguese. So they speak Tetum, uh, which is a local, local language. And it's kind of a mix between Portuguese and Indonesian. Ça se régale. J'ai demandé de la soy sauce, mais on m'a amené du vinaigre. Heureusement, j'en ai pas mis partout sur mon riz. We stayed for a day in Didi, and then we got a SIM card just to get internet, which was a bit of a fail because even the SIM cards, I mean, the internet is very slow um, everywhere, even if you have a SIM card on your phone. So don't expect <laughs> to... Yeah, and you don't find, you don't find Wi-Fi in many places around yeah. the country. La lenteur de la 3G du Timor. Ça fait 10 minutes que ça charge. Ça charge, ça charge. Oh, et il y a un problème. <laughs> Then we decided to go to Atoro, which is an island on the north of Timor-Leste. Alors là, il est 7 heures. On vient de partir de l'auberge, on va essayer d'aller jusqu'au ferry. Euh, bon, apparemment, il n'y a pas trop de taxis, mais bon, ils nous ont dit de prendre un microvan qui sont les petits bus de quartier. Donc là, on doit marcher au moins 800 mètres jusqu'à la route principale et après on verra. Mais la, la route, tout est un peu vide. Normalement 25 centimes, mais bon, 50 centimes. Prix touriste. <rire> ouais. 
Voilà, on a nos petits tickets. Le seul moyen d'avoir son ticket, en gros, c'était de balancer ton, ton passeport devant <rire> la gueule des gars. Genre plus fort que les autres. Ça, ouais, voilà. Les escaliers, c'est pas de la rigolade. Ouh. Ouh. Hein Oh. Ça y est, on part, il est 8h30 et Flav est déjà en train de faire une sieste. So we arrived in Atoro Island and then we walked to our accommodations. There's actually probably only two or three options on the island. I mean options that are on the internet, otherwise you have homestays at local places but they're a bit harder to book in advance. But we went with Atoro Dive Resort which was really good. That was probably one of the best options. Buffet. Petite surprise en revenant du dîner. Le lit couvert de caca. Une petite vidéo de la chambre avec les mosquitonnettes. Voilà, c'est à taureau, c'est vide. Il n'y a personne. Ça son essence. <rire> you're into diving and snorkeling, it definitely should be on your bucket list. You can snorkel straight from the beach in front of the dive resort actually. It's like maybe 10 meters, 20 meters, you don't even have to swim very far. And then we could just stay for hours. It's, there's just like so much to see and yeah, the just... The water's warm as well. Yeah. Après deux heures de snorkeling. One day we decided to go to Villa, which is the closest village. Um, so we had to walk probably an hour and a half, and we only saw maybe one or two people on the way. Voilà, donc euh, là c'est un petit peu impossible, les tongs restent accrochés, du coup on se fait un bain de boue, euh, on marche pieds nus dans la boue pendant une heure. Une photo aussi. Ah et voilà l'aéroport de Atoro. Là-bas, j'imagine que c'est la douane. Là, c'est là où on atterrit. Voilà. C'est un resto spécial. 
On mange avec les assiettes à l'envers. Qu'est-ce que t'en penses Alors, t'es content Ouais, franchement, j'ai un le spot avec la plus grosse diversité marine du monde. On va plonger Probably my favorite place we've ever been to, to dive. Probably the best place to learn diving or get comfortable diving just because there's like not many people at all. In uh, Beloy, where we were staying, there's a market every Saturday, so we were really excited to go uh, visit this market. And it actually was the day, the only day we, where we saw activity on the island. Uh, there was a lot of people coming from uh, Timor, from the, the mainland, and um, yeah, it was pretty crowded. Uh, they were selling a bit of everything, a lot of fish and seafood. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Attention, c'est l'heure du Tetris. C'est gluant Un peu. Ah, c'est du riz, attends. Une petite banana chips. Voilà le marché où hier il y avait plein, 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 plein de monde. Et là. Il n'y a plus rien du tout, plus personne. C'est pas bon Ça sent un peu le vinaigre. Mm. Et les pieds. Try it. C'est un quête de
déchets quand il y a marée haute. Ça ramène tous les déchets. All week uh, in Ataro, we were pushing to go to the western part of the island where the diving is meant to be the most spectacular. Uh, and it's this dive spot that is called uh, Iliana. And uh, we really, really wanted to go there because a lot of people who went there told us it was the best diving they've ever done. Uh, so we wanted to go there, but the weather conditions were not really good. And since they only have a small boat at the dive resorts, uh, you couldn't really go around the island in bad weather because of the big waves and stuff. Finally, the very, very last day that we had on the island, we, like, they gave us the go uh, to go to that spot. So we were so excited. could tell on the other part of the island it was even more wild there's like no houses no village um, it was very very well preserved and uh, the water was just so clear so beautiful like, so excited to dive there and uh, it didn't disappoint at all like the diving you can see on the images uh, it was just yeah, mind-blowing so much life so much um, so many colors everywhere, uh, the coral was so beautiful. Um, yeah, definitely one of the best dives like, ever.
cochon. Petit cochon, trop mignon. J'avais du resto. After a week in Ataro, we uh, took the ferry back to Dili and uh, we had a few days there to visit Dili. Ah, c'est bon. Alors, montre-nous tes gâteaux préférés. J'ai mis un gâteau du monde. Un gâteau avec du sucre, du chocolat dedans. C'est indonésien. Et euh, c'est trop bon. Je crois pas que c'est du vrai chocolat, hein, franchement. C'est pas grave. <rire> c'est du vrai plaisir en tout cas. <rire> Regarde les ingrédients, je sais pas. Le ferry est un peu plus plein qu'à l'aller et il nous repasse exactement le même film. statue après 600 marches Ouh. ça va pas trop fatigué ça va make sure you throw your waste in the garbage please Et les petits chiens derrière sous les tables. On est pas mal. Vive Dilly. Mmh. Gros sandwich, hein. Master sandwich. <rire> Ça c'est que la moitié. On est en train de manger tranquille. On est juste invité. <rire> tu veux quelque chose Commande ce qui te fait plaisir. Plaisir quelque chose Un truc à boire <rire> Il a laissé ça 
Ouais, il est venu se recueillir à la tombe de ses ancêtres. sur la route donut. petit donut en route pour le musée ça c'est pastéis de nata qui est normalement un dessert portugais à l'aéroport international. <rire> Personne Timo was amazing. We already want to go back. It was one of the most relaxing holidays that we had. Uh, amazing for diving, snorkeling. The food was great. Was good. Yeah, and people people are so nice. Mm. Very like smiling all the time. Always willing to help. So that was very mm. very nice and very, very welcoming, very friendly. Yeah, and very safe as well.